we have two vertical glass plates and uh, they are dipped in water so water will rise we need to find the force of their mutual attraction of the plates so in the previous problem 1.7 sorry 2.175 and 2.174 there also we had to find the force of attraction when the water layer was between the two plates but there the plates were horizontal but here the plates are vertical so the drop in pressure is will be because of gravity also so there in the previous two problems the drop in pressure inside was only because of the meniscus so that's how this problem is different from the previous two problems so to find the force of attraction will the approach is still the same so at a we'll take an element because uh, the pressure is going to vary now depending on the height so if we want to find the the pressure drop inside the layer of water it will be different at every height so we'll take an element and we'll find the pressure here so from that uh, pressure drop we'll find the df force which will be pulling this plate towards the other and then we'll just integrate all these elements to find the total force of attraction so this is the other way to look at this same diagram so what will the pressure inside this element so at the bottom pressure is p not because this is just dipped into the liquid so if you go to a height x above p not so pressure is going to be p not minus rho g x and outside pressure is of course p not so delta p is rho g x and you can see delta p will have a negative sign means which means that inside pressure is less than outside pressure so that's why there will be a force of attraction now you can imagine that in, instead of water if it were mercury then the level of mercury will be below this p not so there the pressure will be p not plus rho g x and there because of the mercury pressure will be more than the surrounding pressure so in that case the plates will be pulled away from each other so they will be pushed away so instead of attraction in that case there will be repulsion but our approach in that case will also be same so if you go down in that mercury column you will get a pressure at a given distance x and you can find the small force df just like what we are going to do here so coming back to this problem so the small force df on this element of the wall is delta p into a so area of this side of the element is l into dx so delta p is l into dx sorry a is l into dx and delta p will be rho g x p not minus rho g x minus p not that is delta p so this is df which is on the plate element due to pressure difference so we need to find the total force of attraction between the plates so we will integrate this from 0 to h now h is not given to us so that we can find like we have done in previous lot of problems so for the whole water column in the capillary we are going to do force balance so mg is equal to 2f0 and f0 is equal to s into l into cos theta here there is a class in water so cos theta will be 1 but let's arrive at a general solution with uh, with a given cos theta so f0 is sl cos theta so h becomes 2s cos theta by rho gd so this h we will put here and we'll simplify to get our answer so this is the force of attraction between the plates all right